Damn developers out there, my name is Fortune, I'm a full stack developer and I bring you videos on web development every day. Today we'll be building a file download app and if you're new here, we are currently on the 100 PHP projects, a channel, a challenge exclusive to this channel and I'll put a table of contents in the first video so that you can check out which video you want to watch. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and let's get to today's video. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, you are missing out on a lot. You'll never regret this if you do so i have this opened up our tutorial video so it's actually going to bring back a blank page because this has nothing in it then i'm going to show you the finished version of this so if you wanted to download an image from your website that you have created this is how you're going to do that using php so we're going to work on that functionality right now okay so let's not talk much you've already seen the demo so let's head back into our text editor this time I switch back to Sublime Text because most of you said you are viewing this from mobile phones so I wanted this to have the largest font to give you the best user experience ever. Tutorial experience, user experience, what's the difference? So emojis in this channel are quite important. If you don't know how to spawn them up, just hit the, the Windows logo on your keyboard and the dot. Spawn you some emojis. So we're just going to create the, the, the UI, the outline. So I'm going to use Flexbox. So I'm going to create these flex items so that I can later be able to access them using the CSS and position them the way I like. So I'm going to put everything in its own div. So <clears throat> first we have to create the H1. So I'm just going to say downloading files using PHP. Then in here, I want to create a container, which will be like, which will just hold everything together inside it. So we're going to create flex items within the container. If you are not familiar with CSS, I don't have a course yet on CSS, so ouch. But I'll just try to explain everything as we go along, so at least you won't feel left behind. And by the way, this is not an absolute beginner's thing on PHP. For PHP, I have a course already, so boom, check that out. It's on the channel. So if like you, you shouldn't be running this challenge without a bit of PHP content, but anyway, you will be fine anyway. So we have already put the, the, the flex item, which will have the image, the, the react image. Then we're going to do an anchor tag. Then we're going to reference index.php. Then add this to give it a route to our file. Okay. As you can see already, I have a folder called images and it only has one image, which is the PHP one. Then we're going to create a button. I give it a class of center button and I'm going to say download image here Then put the lightning emoji. Very nice, clean. Okay. Once you're done with that, what you want to do is just under the div, we want to create the text that will actually have our footer, the, the whole made with love thing, which is true. I make this put love. Okay, h3.footer is just auto completion from sublime text. We're going to create a span tag which will have the emoji. Then by Langard Fortune, but for you now, because this is now officially open source, just put your name in there and fill EP. Okay, so once you reload that, you'll see wow, well, we have the ugly HTML. And today I'm going to do the PHP first before the CSS just so you can have options like if you don't want the css part you could just end after watching the php part i do not force you to endure css styling so for the php just open up your tags we're going to do an if statement to check if the download button has been clicked nope to check if it is empty if it's empty check for the file we're going to give a file name as the variable then we're going to do a base name and then in here we're going to pass in get and then what is this my screenshot tool Then we're going to pass in file and then close that up we're also going to do the second variable which will be the file path and we want to include this so that it actually goes into the images folder then you concatenate what am i saying you concatenate this is something fancy in php then we're going to do file name so it just puts them together and it forms one huge file path fully you got that 
I'm going to do a second if statement to check also and I'm going to pass in the file name and then just end things you thought you will never use in PHP now you use it if the file exists then we want to run this so if that file exists and the file the, the, the it's not empty because this the, the lightning the exclamation thing negates the statement so which means it's not empty so let's define headers by the way I should make one video on headers completely and it's coming soon I'm promising you guys I'll do a, a, a full video just talking about headers in PHP because we are probably used to headers used in redirecting users but either way okay for this video let's just type this out don't worry if you don't understand anything at all just try to understand this if you can't well life's not easy header content disposition we're going to do attach attachment and we're going to do file name and then just close that up once you also attribute it to the variable file name and close it one last header what's going on new keyboard not used to this okay i'm going to do content content type we're going to do like application forward slash zip and then just close that up the final header I've got one header and then in here what is going on new keyboard i should replace this I'm replacing the windows and the keyboard so content transfer encoding you want to simply put in binary you obviously know what binary means then what we're going to do is read file then we're just going to pass in the variable file path simple then just close that up and then exit and you are done but let's do an else just in case something goes wrong and you want you always want to do else statements so that users can actually get feedback on what the heck is going on under the hood so what you're going to do is echo out file does not exist and some emojis to show pain and stuff okay at least that's good enough refresh it and it should have the functionality we wanted download image here yeah there. Yeah. we have downloaded the react image we wanted so if you wanted the php part you can just stop the video here and just go check out the playlist about the 100 PHP projects but if you want to see this as style this up we're going to do this in like 10 seconds or so so like just wait for us to style this so I'm just going to do a global style for font family so I'm going to put the sheriff himself sans serif then I'm going to do a body styling so I'm going to do display flex then I can do justify content center we just put everything in the center align item center which is horizontally centered flex direction I want it to be column and then for the button we can just give it a width of about let's say 200 pixels for the height we're going to do 50 no 40 pixels then for the background color i'm doing crimson the, the channel team then the outline we want to do none then i'm going to do a border of none also then i'll do again border to override that i'm doing one pixel solid black and that should do it for the most part of the styling you know what we won't style this much so one ram and then finally we do a margin 50 pixels okay let's just do a, a hover state we're using a studio selector so let's do button hover and we're going to transform this and then just scale it by 1.2 yeah so it looks bigger once you hover boom that's it the final product which we did and boom it has the functionality if you love this tutorial and you would like to see more head over to that playlist and do me a solid hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video my name is fortune and to you all peace Art.